Um, so we have a camp, a 30-day challenge here. Uh, the Grand Rapids Area Black Business Association has a challenge. Um, what would you, do you have advice for them or anything you could share with them uh, as they em embark on the 30-day challenge? I'm so part, uh, proud of Grab, uh, my team over here, mm -hmm. um, for endeavoring to take this on. Um, I will tell you personally that I never ask folks, as much as I'm an advocate for black-owned businesses and inclusion and economic empowerment in our community, I would never tell folks to endeavor to do what we did. Um, it was very painful, um, quite impossible to take on, and it was a huge sacrifice for the family. But I do like the spirit of making a commitment. Because as I, I preach and I lecture and I, and I try to show people all these economic disparities, I do want to inspire folks to take action. And I think the best thing to do is to start with a commitment. Because if you just say, okay, I'm going to do more, or I'm going to do a little bit, or I'll try it next time, then nothing really happens. But if you have a commitment like we did, it keeps you honest and it keeps you focused. And I love that they took this 30-day challenge where it's not, okay, I'm going to spend all of my money with black-owned businesses, but it kind of keeps it on the frontal road. I'm going to try a little harder. And what I love about the 30 days is what I teach everyone is once you get started and, and you find, you know, one great gem that you didn't know existed, or you learn of a business that's uh, employing maybe an ex-felon, or uh, helping um, uh, provide role models in a place that desperately needs it. When you see and feel the impact of your spending, of your commitment, you want to do more. So it's great to start small, it's great to start with 30 days, because I think that some of the folks who take on this challenge might make this a lifestyle like I do.